Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing another sketch from 30 Days of Sketches. This sketch is by Aaron Dallas, and I'm actually going to split it into two pages, and it's going to be two separate layouts that will go eventually into two separate albums. But I had these Halloween photos, and I really want to get all the Halloween photos that I have printed uh, completed this month. That's my goal. So I'm going to go ahead and do two layouts with the same sketch um, using inspiration. Basically, I'm not going to really copy the sketch completely, but I'm going to use different little elements from the sketch. And here I'm showing you the pieces that I've pulled out to use. Mainly what I have right now is chipboard pieces from Bella Boulevard. And I have a total of four photos. All four photos will get done. And... The doodle bug pops. I believe I only pull a couple of the stars off and one of the little ghosts. And then a sticker sheet that I'm going to use on both layouts and some of the papers I'm going to use on both layouts. So that's the reason I'm going to go ahead and do both layouts since I am going to use pieces from both collections but two separate layouts. So hopefully you guys like it. I thought it was kind of a neat idea to go ahead and do this and still give you two layouts but it's not really a double page and they are going to be 11 by eight and a half since this paper here was already cut to eight, 11 <laughs> sorry 11 by eight and a half so i want to go ahead and use it instead of putting it back in my stash i have tons of halloween stash and i'm realizing that i'm probably at the end of my halloween era because my youngest son is 12 years old so more than likely, he's probably going to be giving up Halloween this year. So there's not going to be very many Halloween more photos unless he chooses to dress up as a teenager, which very rarely happens. Anyways, I have mainly Bella Boulevard, but I do have American Crafts. Um, I think it's called Halloween. It's a collection from American Crafts. It doesn't have a designer attached to it. Um, but this one here is Bella Boulevard, and the orange one that I'm going to show is Bella Boulevard. The purple stars is Bella Boulevard, and I believe that's it. The paper that has the words on the background is, this one here is actually Photoplay, that's Spiderwebs. But the one that has the words on it, the first one that I showed, that's from Pebbles, Inc. And that was an older Halloween collection. I think it came out like three or four years ago. But anyways, uh, the one photos are of myself and my youngest son using his Snapchat filter. And then this one here is him in his Halloween costume. And this was actually 2020. So trick-or-treating did not happen that year. And also, it was a very cheap costume. So I got away with it. It was a $10 costume from Target, luckily, because he didn't get to go trick-or-treating. So <laughs> it would have been kind of a waste of money. But... I guess most Halloween costumes are kind of a waste of money if you only get to wear it once anyways. But we usually got to wear it at least two or three times, different parties and stuff. But this year, we only got to wear it at home. So, but he really liked being a skeleton that year. And it was kind of a cool costume for being, you know, 10 bucks. And it took some really cool pictures, so that was good. So here I'm going to add some white paint splatters with acrylic paint to the background. I put the spiderweb paper up there in the corner. That is kind of a nod at the sketch, at least the uh, left-hand side. And then she had the photo matted on a 6x6 piece of paper, and it was a 4x6 photo. This one is a 4x6 photo. It's a 6x6 piece of paper that I cut out of the stripe paper, but I did tear the top and the bottom. She does not have that in the sketch, so that was my own little addition. And then the rest of it's pretty much my own addition. I just kind of embellished around the photo and completed the layout. So there's not really following the sketch per se anymore. She had clusters just around kind of the same way. So I guess it was the general same idea. And I definitely used hers as inspiration. Sorry, was interrupted. Anyways. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I cut the little spider web, just a little corner of it so that I could use a piece down here at the bottom because I'm going to place the tree and the pumpkins over there. 
And as you can see, I've already done a little bit of designing with it because the pumpkins and trees are already stuck together, kind of, sort of. Um, and that's just so that I can get two layouts complete in one video without having the video be excessively long. This video is about 17 minutes long, which is a little bit longer than most of my videos, but you get two layouts. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and it's okay. And that's pretty much what the month of October is going to be. Um, it's going to be all double sketches. So each video will probably be anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. I think the longest one is 20 minutes so far. Um, I haven't completed them all, but I have completed quite a few of them already. So this one here, I'm just finishing up. The sticker that I placed at the bottom was from the sticker sheet. That was a border sticker. And this layout is kind of what back in the day we would have called a snicker, <laughs> a sticker sneeze because there's stickers all over this layout. I used a ton of stickers. I almost completed the sheet, but I still have a few left that I can use on another layout. Um, I'm hoping that I will get it completely gone and out of my stash by the end of the month. But I haven't completed the other layout that I have in mind for the rest of the stickers. So we'll see if I get it done. But here I'm just adding some ATG and then I will add some Scotch Tacky Glue also with the ATG. And that's because the play foam does not stick long term to the ATG. Um, it will stick, but eventually it'll probably fall off, I'm assuming, because you can definitely still pull it up very easily after um, it sits for a while. So I add a little bit of liquid glue to it, and that seems to hold a little bit better. So I put the tree and the pumpkins over to the right. Like I said, I'm going to add this other little pumpkin with the kitty cat on top of it over here by the tombstone. I thought the tombstone was kind of fitting because he's in the backyard. He's actually, there just wasn't a whole lot of light in the backyard. But the light that there was kind of made his costume glow in the dark. And the grass was kind of, you know, shiny because of the light also. So it made for a cool photo. Um, but it actually was just in our backyard. And... I'm going to add these little ghosts because I thought they were cute and I don't know how else I would use those or what layout I would use those on. Um, so I thought since I could get them on this layout, I went ahead and used them. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever been a ghost in my family for Halloween. So uh, I didn't know how else I would get them used. I'm going to add some of the little bats just to add a little bit more and the spooky and scary at the top. Kind of was the same as the tombstone down at the bottom, just going the opposite way and up at the top. So it's kind of a, at first I was going for a diagonal kind of sticker, I guess, assortment. But I decided to do it left and right and just kind of make the colors be on both sides. And I really like the way that it turned out in the end and it showcases the photo. And that's what I want it to do most of all. So down at the bottom, I added the Boo title. I haven't actually placed it down yet. I don't think, yeah. No, I haven't because I'm going to put play foam underneath that. Also, over here, I'm trying to add some candies to cover up that hole that's underneath the pumpkin and the cat. And I thought candy was okay because it's Halloween. You go trick-or-treating. Well, at least you're supposed to go trick-or-treating. Um, it was pandemic, so there was no trick-or-treating. And I did leave room for a little bit of journaling down at the bottom on the left-hand side. I can add later on. Um, I do that on my computer. So I will probably just add a couple of lines. And I also have another layout where he's also in this costume. So I can always add it to that layout also. But I did leave a little bit of room down at the bottom. So here I'm just placing down the play foam for the word or the title piece boo. And I'm only going to place it at the bottom of the banners because the foam or the photo is popped up on play foam also. So it's just going to lay on top of that one. I had to tear a little bit of the paper off because the play foam was running into it. So it wasn't laying down flat. 
but it's going to be underneath, so you're not going to see it. And I'm just going to lay that down, and then I think I'm almost done. I add uh, one more sticker on the other side that's orange. It said Happy Haunting, but I'm going to cut the happy off and just do Haunting. And that's just because I already have um, All Halloween all hello eves at the top and then i have happy halloween on the other side so i didn't think it really needed to say happy haunting and plus it would have been a little bit too long so here's a few close-ups of this layout and then i will show i will start the other layout but i just wanted to put a little bit of these photos in between so on this one i'm going to border it with the stripe paper around the outside and then I'm going to use that black wordy paper that says like boo eek and I think that's all it says it just says boo and eek over and over across the layout in different fonts and most of it's going to be covered up but um I definitely like black backgrounds and I like them with Halloween layouts so I went ahead and used it and then I'm going to place again this triangle up here and that's another nod at the sketch. She had triangles in the sketch uh, down at the bottom of the layout on the right and left side. And I just put it up on both layouts actually on the left side at the top. So kind of rotating the layout I guess. And then I'm going to add this little bit of orange paper right underneath the teal. And only a little sliver of it peeks out, but it's just enough to add a little bit of orange up here at the top. And it was kind of tricky to get it to go in there because I didn't have, I had already created the other layout, so I didn't have any more orange paper except for that scrap that I was tearing. So I made it work. And here I'm just going to tear a little bit more of it off and then adjust it. And then I'll just trim it off with my scissors after I get it reattached back down. And then I believe I'll start working on matting the photos. And on this one, I want it to mat the photos um, a little bit different on each photo. And you'll see that here in a minute. This one here I'm going to put on the star paper. And anytime I can use purple, I'm going to use purple. That was one of the reasons I kept these cute little bat photos because they had purple bat ears and it turned our hair purple too also in the photo which we thought was kind of cool so I definitely wanted to use these photos this one here of myself I'm going to mat on the uh what is that like a I don't know it looks like x's after it's down but um can't think what the design is called but it's just different colors behind it and then a little scrap of the black uh what is that spider web paper sorry I'm losing my words here and then the stripe background paper which was the opposite side of that colorful paper and then over here on this little photo i matted it on orange i was going to keep the title of the collection which was spooky and sweet or sweet and spooky um just because i thought it looked kind of cute but it was running into the other photo so I had to take it off um it's okay it, it didn't really need to go on there i just thought it was kind of cute but and now i'm going to use all these little chipboard pieces from the chipboard set from bella boulevard i'm going to put eek over here by my photo this cute little bat up here at the top with the baseball cap on i thought he was kind of cute and he has all the colors that i'm going to add for scary cute down at the bottom and i almost spell scary incorrectly it's a good thing these letters have no stick to them at all when i took them off the chipboard sheet they like literally were dry so definitely be adding extra glue to any pieces that you're adding on to your layouts because nothing's more sad than when you flip through your albums and you see that the pieces have fell down to the bottom of the pocket page so, so I went ahead and added uh, glue to the back of those and I'm going to go ahead 
go around and add some of these little stars off of the pop dots. I added the little ghost over by Eek because I think he's absolutely adorable. So again, I went ahead and used him. Um, this Witch's Cauldron, I'm going to place at the bottom. I wasn't going to place anything there, but it kind of needed something at the bottom. And that matches the teal that's at the top. So I thought it was kind of cute. And then I'm going to find bubbles on the sticker sheet also. But I haven't found them yet because I keep looking at everything that's on the sticker sheet. And there's so much on it that sometimes you just miss the other items that are on there until you're looking at it again or in a different way the next day or something. You miss stickers. So um, this was all in one night, but I just kept looking at it and finding different items that I could place on the layout. I put this cute little pumpkin uh, candy apple down at the bottom. Um, I don't know. He's orange. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be a pumpkin or an apple, but he's going there. He's cute. And he has a little black and white stick coming out of him. So I think he's kind of a candy apple. And then I added candy corn, which I love candy corn. So I wanted to add those. And the little star stickers on here were the hardest stickers ever to get off of this layout or off this sticker sheet. And they are super, super thin cut. They look like they're decent sized stars on the sheet, but when they're actually cut, they were very, very thin. So I had to be very careful not to pull them apart. But I'm going to place them around the layout and then... I believe that's all I'll pull off the sticker sheet. The little chipboard bats I added also by Scary Cute. And then um, I'm going to bring in one more Bella Pop or Doodlebug Pop. I think this one's from Bella, actually. Yeah, this one's from Bella. Um, and it's a graduation one, but I'm going to pull the three stars off of it because they're silver. And they gave it just the amount of pop that I needed it to have um, around the layout. So now it's complete. And I did move the stars over from above Scary and the little bat. And I put bubbles there instead from the cauldron going up. And again, I like the way this layout turned out also. It's super cute. And it's using purple and orange, which I like for Halloween. So here's a few close-ups. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another layout. And tomorrow's layout is a double-page sketch layout. Hope you guys enjoyed today's layouts and bye, like and subscribe.